Nerdy babies, dinosaurs. Hey there, nerdy babies. Do you ever wonder about dinosaurs? You probably do. You're curious. Let's start by going back in time. Millions and millions of years ago, long before humans lived on Earth. Ooh, do you see the chicken and the baby chicken? Dinosaurs ruled the planet. We had Spinosaurus, Parasaurolophus, Mutaborosaurus, and Giraffe Titan. Dinosaurs were reptiles that walked upright. Ankylosaurus, Pterosaur, not a dinosaur. Plesiosaur, also not technically a dinosaur. Just like reptiles today, dinosaurs hatched from eggs. We have the Velociraptor. Baby says, this egg is big! A hatchling! Their eggs came in many shapes and sizes, and some were even speckled. To study Earth's history, we break it into big chunks of time. Baby says, was I born yet? 252 million years ago! <gasps> We have the Precambrian era, Paleozoic era, the Triassic. Dinosaurs lived during the Mesozoic era, which is divided into three periods Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous. I was definitely not born in this time, says the baby. Dinosaurs first stepped foot on the planet in the Triassic period, 245 million years ago. They joined other living things like grasshoppers and turtles. Wow, says the baby. Do you know about the Platyosaurus? It walked on two legs and had short forearms, a long neck, a whip-like tail, and plant-grinding teeth. And it was purple in this photo. The Jurassic period began millions of years later with many new plants and dinosaurs. The shape of dinosaur teeth tells us about what they ate. Some were shaped like pencils, perfect for pulling leaves from tall branches, and they got new teeth every month. This is the Diplodocus. Sharp hooked teeth were great for eating meat. I just have one tooth, says the baby. Teeth with jagged edges were good for eating plants growing near the ground. Here we've got a stegosaurus and a beautiful allosaurus. Life in the Cretaceous period was thriving. Mammals, birds, insects, and the first flowers. There were more dinosaurs than ever before. Here we've got an Ampelosaurus. Some dinosaurs had body armor and spikes on their backs for protection against predators, while others had sharp claws and lean legs for attacking and running fast. Here we've got a Veriraptor. That one has feathers! Scientists have named over 800 kinds of dinosaurs so far. The Miragaya, the T-Rex, the Minmi, the T-Rex had a 30-year lifespan, the Utah Raptor, and the Hypercrosaurus. Roar! says the baby. Dinosaurs roamed Earth for nearly 180 million years, and many species never crossed paths. Here's the Archaeoteryx, the Triceratops, the Argentinosaurus, which was as heavy as 17 African elephants, the Troodon, the Parxosaurus. And the Troodon was the smartest dinosaur, and it was as smart as a chicken. Do you have a favorite? says the baby. Then an asteroid crashed into the Earth and caused a lot of big changes. There's the asteroid. Dinosaurs and most living things were wiped out, gone, extinct. Oh no. 
but birds survived. Did you know birds are actually avian dinosaurs sharing ancient relatives with the T-Rex? Their body shape, the eggs, the feathers, three toes. Today's birds have a lot in common with their large dinosaur cousins. They have stones in their stomach to digest food. I'm not allowed to eat rocks, says the baby. Get digging. Everything we know about the Mesozoic era, we learn from studying fossils. Fossils are preserved bones, feathers, eggs, footprints, and even poop that tell us the story of dinosaurs. Dinosaurs get their names from how they look, where they were discovered, or who discovered them. I'm going to name one, says the baby. You got a triceratops skeleton here. Paleontologists love digging, making discoveries, and figuring out puzzles, just like you. Here we've got a nerdy baby, turns into a nerdy kid, turns into a nerdy paleontologist. Stay curious. There's more to learn about everything. Roar, says the baby. <laughs>